Sir, they can cut the chain off the door, but they can't make us play. We've decided we're gonna finish what you started, sir. Yeah, so leave us be, coach. We got shit to do, sir. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. Sir, I just want to say thank you. You saved my life. Thank you, sir. All of you. can't kneel down in the middle of a highway and live to talk about it, son. But why? Why now? Bruce, you have the divine spark. You have the gift for bringing joy and laughter to the world. I know. I created you. Quit bragging. <laughs> See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's the spark. What do you want me to do? I want you to pray, son. Go ahead. Use them. Um, Lord, feed the hungry and bring peace to all of mankind. How's that? If you want to be Miss America. <laughs> now, come on. What do you really care about? Grace. Grace. You want her back? No. I want her to be happy. No matter what that means, I want her to find someone who will treat her with all the love she deserved from me. I want her to meet someone. Who will see her always, as I do.
through your eyes. Now that's a prayer. Yeah. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I'm gonna get right on it. Ah! Whoa! That didn't feel very good. Ah! Got a rhythm. All right, I got a pulse. All right, let's let him up. Yeah, get the backboard and brace. You got a guardian angel. Mike, Mike, just try to stay awake just, just for a minute, okay? I just need to tell you a few things. Okay, Judge. You always listen to your mother. You understand? Do what she tells you to do. She's your best friend. You love her every day. Okay, Dad. Now you, you, <laughs> you're too young for girls right now, but there's gonna come a time when it does. You treat them like princesses, because that's what they are. When you say you're gonna do something. say you're gonna do something, you do it. Because your word is your bond, son, that's all you have. And money, hey, you, you make money if you get a chance, even if you gotta sell out every once in a while, you make as much money as you can, don't be stupid like your father. Okay. Everything is so much easier with money, son. Don't smoke. Somebody chooses you. You know, we talked about this. You stand up, you be a man. And you stay away from the bad things, son. Please. Don't get caught up in the bad things. There's so many great things out there for you. So, you're really him, aren't you? You want more proof? I haven't done the pillow of salt thing in a while. That's all right. I believe you. I just, I don't understand why you chose me. You want to change the world, son. So do I. Wh what? Well, why an ark? I mean, that's like flood territory. You wouldn't do that again. You wouldn't do that. Would you do that? Let's just say that whatever I do, I do because I love you. 
Well, then you have to understand that this whole building and art thing is really not part of my plans here. I need to settle into my house. I need to make a good impression at work. <laughs> what? Your plans. <laughs> What are you talking? I'm, we're talking about an arc, right? I mean, an arc? An arc is huge. I don't even know where I would begin. Al, I hear that a lot. People want to change the world, don't know how to begin. You want to know how to change the world, son? One act of random kindness at a time. You know, living with you, it hasn't been easy. People see me, but they think of you. Now with all this going on, this is gonna be worse than ever. It don't have to be. No, sure it does. Why, you got a lot going on, kid. Oh, well, my last name? That's the reason I got a decent job. That's the reason why people deal with me in the first place. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Now I'm asking you as a favor, not to go through with this, okay? This is only gonna end up bad for you, and it's gonna end up bad for me. You think I'm hurting you? Yeah, in a way you are. That's the last thing I ever wanted to do. I know that's not what you want to do, but that's just the way that it is. Don't you care what people think? Doesn't it bother you that, that people are making you out to be a joke, and that I'm gonna be included in that? Do you think that's right? Do you? You ain't gonna believe this, but you used to fit right here. I'd hold you up and say to your mother, this kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm always gonna love you no matter what. No matter what happens. You're my son, you're my blood. You're the best thing in my life. But until you start believing in yourself, you ain't gonna have a life. Don't forget to visit your mother. something very important now. I know what you're going to say. You don't have to say it. No, I do. I do have to say it. John, tell me what you want me to do. You want me to take you out of here? Just let you run away? See how far you could get? Why would you do such a foolish thing? On the day of my judgment, when I stand before God, and he asks me why did I, did I kill one of his true miracles? 
What am I going to say? That it was my job. It was my job. You tell God the Father it was a kindness you done. I know you heard me word. I can feel it on you. But you ought to quit on it now. I want it to be over and done with. I do. be something we can do for you. I want to be able to do that. I think I'm ready. Ready for what? Devoting my life to a higher purpose. Really? Service to others, right? That's going to be me now. I'll do whatever you think I should. All right. All right. I think you should continue your training as a gymnast. A warrior does not give up what he loves, Dan. He finds the love in what he does. Look at me! Look at me. I have a metal rod in my leg. A warrior's not about perfection or victory or invulnerability. He's about absolute vulnerability. That's the only true courage. What kind of training do you think I could do? I just had an accident. The accident is your training. Life is choice. You can choose to be a victim or anything else you'd like to be. Just ignore what happened to me. A warrior acts, only a fool reacts. What if I can't do it? That's the future. Throw it out. Well, how would we start? There is no starting or stopping. Only doing. Then we're going to go sell a bone density scanner. How about that? You want to do that? No. Hey, Dad, I'm going pro. Oh. <laughs> I'm going pro. Oh, oh, OK. Yeah. I don't know. You know, uh, you'll probably be about as good as I was. That's kind of the way it works, you know, and I, I, I was below average. You know, so, whoa. So you'll probably ultimately rank somewhere around there, you know, so I really, uh, you'll excel at a lot of things, just not this. I don't want you out here shooting this ball around all day and night, all right? All right. OK? All right, go ahead. somebody tell you you can't do something not even me all right all right you got a dream you got to protect it people can't do something themselves they want to tell you you can't do it you want something go get it Period.
I don't even know what I'm doing here. I mean, it's not like you even know who I am. You prayed and believed your whole life. Never done anything wrong. And here you are. You're the nicest person I know. I am the meanest. You have dementia. My life is perfect. Explain that to me. Sometimes the devil allows people to live a life free of trouble because he doesn't want them turning to God. Their sin is like a jail cell except it's all nice and comfy and there doesn't seem to be any need to leave. The door is wide open. Till one day, time runs out. The cell door slams shut. And suddenly, it's too late. Who did you say you were? Mike, those machines keeping you alive. Uh, I gotta talk to my boy. Uh, uh. Michael, stop! No! Michael, it doesn't have to end now. The note you wrote on in your pocket. Forever and ever, babe.
So, uh, you know, what is it, like, Will has an attachment disorder? Is it all that stuff? Fear of abandonment? Is that why, uh, is that why I broke up with Skyler? I didn't know you had. Yeah, I did. You want to talk about it? No. Uh -huh. Hey, Will. See this? All this shit. This is not your fault. Yeah, I know that. Look at me, son. It's not your fault. I know. It's not your fault. I know. With me, all right? Don't fuck with me, Sean. Not you. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, can I get a refill, please? Coming right up. Excuse me, you, are you all right? Yeah. No, it's a long story. Well, I like stories. I'm considered a bit of a storyteller myself. My husband, have you heard of New York's Noah? <laughs> the guy who's building the ark. That's him. I love that story. No one in the ark? You know, a lot of people miss the point of that story. They think it's about God's wrath and anger. They love it when God gets angry. What is the story about then, the Ark? Well, I think it's a love story about believing in each other. You know, the animals showed up in pairs. They stood by each other, side by side, just like Noah and his family. Everybody entered the Ark side by side. But my husband says God told him to do it. What do you do with that? Sounds like an opportunity. Let me ask you something. If someone prays for patience, do you think God gives them patience? Or does he give them the opportunity to be patient? If they prayed for courage, does God give them courage? Or does he give them opportunities to be courageous? If someone prayed for the family to be closer, do you think God zaps them with warm, fuzzy feelings? Or does he give them opportunities to love each other? <sighs> well, I gotta run. A lot of people to serve. Enjoy. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks, is it, son? This God business. They're all out of control. It's mayhem. I, I don't know what to do. Well, you're right on time. Seven o'clock. Seventh at seven. Then. There we are. It's good. It's good. <laughs> the wonderful thing, no matter how filthy something gets, 
that always cleaned it right up. There were so many. I just gave them all what they wanted. Yeah. But since when does anyone have a clue about what they want? So what do I do? Parting your soup is not a miracle, Bruce. It's a magic trick. A single mom who's working two jobs and still finds time to take her kid to soccer practice, that's a miracle. A teenager who says no to drugs and yes to an education, that's a miracle. People want me to do everything for them, when what they don't realize is they have the power. You want to see a miracle, son? Be the miracle. Wait, are you leaving? Yeah, I figure you can handle things now. But what if I need you? What if I have questions? <laughs> That's your problem, Bruce. That's everybody's problem. You keep looking up.